Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to pop on and do a haul video. I don't know how quick this will be. It probably won't be that quick. So I'm not gonna say a quick haul video, but I'm gonna do a haul video. I did a pre-order with a cherry on top for the new crepe paper gingham garden collection and it took a bit to get to me because I ordered a bunch of other things. I ordered some pieces from the P13 uh, Spring Collection. Spring is Calling Collection. But what was holding my package up was the two pieces that I got from the Maggie Holmes Woodland Grove Collection. And so I got everything in. Everything came. Happy Friday to me. Because uh, I have some new goodies. Not that I need it. But I couldn't resist the pastel colors and the spring vibes of this particular collection. I wasn't a fan of like the motifs and stuff of the Maggie Holmes Woodland Grove. It looked like a mixture of Shine and Sweet Story and and all the other collections that she's done before. And so I was just like, no, there were two pieces that I really liked. The ephemera pack that was just the floral pieces. I love me Maggie Home Florals, so that I thought would match really well with the Gingham Garden, and it does, like the colors are just perfect. And then if I can find the other, the other thing was really, really cool. These guys, these are like, they're pins, they're stick pins, and they're hefty, they're metal stick pins, and they're gorgeous. They're just gorgeous. This is a butterfly, this is a floral, and this one says love grows here, and it has like little pearl beads, and this is just so precious. I absolutely love this. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but um, I had to get them, and they're metal, they're really heavy. And so those are the two pieces that were holding up my entire package here. And then from the P13, so this is, I think, I believe they're Polish. I think it's a Polish brand. I know um, scrapbook.com also carries their co collections too, and I have purchased other things from them as well. But these are just some tags. I love their decorative tags because I love their little floral illustrations. And so this was very spring-like. It was very like Eastery spring-like, but I figured it's just a little chick and it's fine. Um, but I love the little tags because they're very pretty and you can use them for anything. And so um, I bought the two different versions. There's so many different tags, but I only bought these two. And I did buy something else from that collection. Oh, the envelopes. I bought this, so okay. Last year for December Daily, which I didn't do, I purchased a whole bunch of P13 stuff from one of their collections because it looked very wintry in like the blue and the pastel pink kind of tones and that's the color scheme that I was going to go for for that year. Didn't actually end up doing a December Daily last year and so I'm going to use what I bought from that collection and I was going to mix it in with some Planner Society stuff. So um, the Planner Society kit that came with this washi tapes, just to give you a feel of like the colors I'm talking about, like that. I was going to do something like that for my December daily and so that's going to be for this year. Um, but they, I purchased some envelopes. These are about like, I want to say they're a little smaller than four by six but they're just envelopes and you just, they come unfolded. And I'm wondering if I did take the package out and like fold all the envelopes and put them somewhere. I'm not even sure, but it's basically like this. And then you just kind of fold it and you have like a little envelope and look how darling this one is. And so I had to get this one from the same spring collection and you get five envelopes in here. I don't know if I can get it back in, but yeah. And then I did get a few papers from that collection, which I'll show when I show the papers that I got from the Gingham Garden collection. This is bothering me. <laughs> okay, I basically bought the entire collection, almost, I'm pretty sure. I got the washi tape. Looking at it in person, I'm not a fan of the colors. They're a bit more peachy and a bit more like that greeny green color, but, um. The last row is like a bunch of stickers, like it's little like sticker flakes almost. And this one's actually scallop, which is really, really cute. I'm pretty sure I'll use it. Uh, but that is the washi tape. And I'm not gonna take them out. Well, let's take them out. Oh no, I need, I need a scissor to slice this in order to take it out. <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna put all this washi tape. I've been, I've been going ham at like Daiso um, with like just the plain 
generic washi tapes or like Daiso has some of these floral ones and I've literally bought like everything like every color everything and my uh my chest that I normally keep the washi tape is all full now and so I have no idea where these are gonna go but but yeah these are the tapes here and so this one's kind of like sticker they're the stickers um so those are the tapes and then for embellishments, I did buy the embellishment pack and I literally only bought this pack because I wanted the buttons. I love these little woody buttons um, and I love them just to collect them. Like I don't actually use them on anything and I really need to start using them on stuff, but I just love, love, I've been collecting these, these little buttons since Oh my god, since I think I joined two P's, I don't even know how long ago that was, when I first started scrapbooking, and I just <laughs> never used them. I have them, like, the little, I'll show you. The little container is overflowing, like, the cork just, just doesn't even go on it anymore, and these are all the ones that I have from, like, different collections. Um, but I just, I love these type of buttons, and so... They're little woodies. I think uh, Coco Vanilla Studio calls them woodies. I just love them. I don't really like sequin confetti. Um, this one's pretty though, the mix, but um, yeah, I just bought it for the buttons. And then these are like the little gold ephemera pieces, which I believe the Maggie Holmes one comes with some of the gold. But this is Gingham Garden and this is their embellishment pack. Then I bought ugh, some more embellishments, but let's show you the stamp set. So these are the two stamp sets from the collection. And this one is darling. This looks like a letter press, like letters and numbers. And oh my God, when I saw it, I'm just like, I need to get it. It looks very vintage. And hopefully I use it because I like to collect stamps that I don't use, but um, love it. That is so cute. For this one, it's just a decorative. I definitely bought it for the florals. If you know, I like stamping out the florals on like white cardstock and then fussy cut them. I love this, my reason to smile. And then of course, just some sentiments. And now for all the other embellishments. So this is the ephemera pack. And what I really like about this collection, or like even the Maggie Holmes one, is that the embellishment packs, look how tiny they are. Like they're perfect for like smaller journaling. Um, Cause I think before they used to come like really, really big, like really big ephemera pieces. And now they're like these little tiny ones. And this is the back of it. I probably won't take these out to show. Maybe I'll do that at the end and like remove all of this stuff. But this is the stationery pack and it comes with little cards and envelopes and there's like even baggies. So yeah, I may take these all out at the end, like just go through everything first and then turn the camera off, take everything out and so that you can see them properly. But yeah, this is the ephemera pack, and then this is the little stationary papery pack. But then I also got the papery pack. So it's the stationary pack, and then the ephemera pack, and then the papery, they, they did this, okay. So Cray Paper did this with Maggie Holmes's parasol collection, and this is a ginormous, I'm telling you, it is a ginormous box of just ephemera and a lot of them are stickers like little washi type stickers and I bought it for the parasol and I absolutely love it. I have to use it more but I actually I love it. You get two pieces of each and there's just so much goodness in here and so that'll take me a while to flip through but I will open that later as well. Then I got some stickers. These are the puffy stickers. I should have gotten two of these but let's be real I buy puffy stickers and I never really use them but these are so cute. Um, so those are the puppy stickers and then what I like the most are the sticker books and the sticker sheets so I always like If I use anything that I buy It's the sticker books. I love these sticker books. I usually just take them out of the the thing um, And put them into my other sticker book like my big one so I flip through it But yeah, so this sticker book is a I think it's a combination of cardstock and clear. I believe these are clear stickers. These are paper cardstock stickers. These are clear. These are also clear. There's some foiling on this. These are cardstock alphas. These are clear. And these are clear. 
Oh, and there's one more. And these little strips are cardstock. Very soft, like muted kind of colors. Like these are the colors. It's very cute. Very pastel -y and stuff, but very muted. I actually really, really love it. I love it. And then I got two of the 6x12. These are not cardstock. These are clear stickers. They're clear stickers. Um, I believe they're clear stickers. They look like clear stickers and the package feels a lot lighter and more like malleable. And so they're not cardstock, but I got two of them because they're darling. What I do with clear stickers is if I want them with the white backing, I just put them on cardstock and fussy cut them out. But look how pretty, everyday magic. I'm not a big fan of paisley. So the gold little paisley things, I'm not sure how I'll use them, but everything else I absolutely love. So let's put the front and the back. So that you can see it better. So you can see it better. But yeah, so pretty. I always get two of the ones that I like feel like I love. <laughs> so I got two of those. And then I normally don't get any of the thickers or, um, yeah, I normally don't get any of the thickers, whether the letter ones or like the uh, phrase ones, but these are really pretty and they're actually foam. So it's like a very thin chipboard on the top and then on the bottom is foam. Um, these would have looked really pretty if they were puffy, you know that puffy how they us you usually, they also do the puffy version of it, um, but they're like foam and cardstock and they're very, very pretty. And because they're foam and cardstock, they're not as thick as like the chipboard ones. Um, I did get the chipboard, the 12 by 12 chipboard. Very, very pretty. And then I didn't get that much paper. I bought the cut aparts. <laughs> Mostly for the B side because this looks like a beautiful wallpaper. I did get the digital so I will be printing off more paper. This one because I thought fuzzy cutting, I hate fuzzy cutting but these butterflies are so pretty and it's like an ombre. And the back's really pretty too. I'm glad I got the digital. And then these cut aparts, more vintage elements which I think repeat themselves in here. So there's that. And the back is this beautiful kind of watercolory pink. And then these are the papers from the P13 Spring is Calling. And I definitely should have bought doubles because I only bought one thinking, oh, you know, I may not, they might be okay, but they're beautiful in person. They're more beautiful in person than they are on the actual screen. So this is paper number one. And the back side is this beautiful yellow. I might actually go back and buy some more. Paper number six, beautiful florals, and sort of like the gingham on the back. And then I bought this one again to fussy cut all the little butterflies. I love it. You can see some text in the back. It's so pretty. And then this one had beautiful little cutter parts. And like, I didn't think that I would like the cutter parts so, like, like the cards so much, but I do, and I should have bought two. But there's that one. And then I did buy the cutter part. So this is like, it just has like this plain grit um, plaid on the back, but it's a cut apart. So I want a fussy cut because it's cheaper to get the cut apart paper like this, the 12 by 12 paper, than the actual cut apart, the actual like ephemera die cuts. Um, those little packets you get like not even, I think you get like 13 pieces for like $7. Um, so it's much cheaper to pay like $1 to get the page and then you just fussy cut it yourself. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to get probably another sheet of this, another sheet of this, and another sheet of this. I will see if a cherry on top still has them because usually cherry on top sell out really quickly. That's why I always pre-order everything. And I pre-order everything because they always do the 20, you get 20% off your pre-orders. And so it, it comes out way cheaper. Like, oh my God, I haven't bought scrapbooking supplies in a very, very long time. And it's just outrageously expensive now. Um, so definitely taking advantage of the, pre, the cherry on top pre-orders 
oh my goodness I also had like points I had enough cherries to give me five dollars off my my purchase as well but um that 20 percent off like helped a, a lot and it was still really expensive so I will see if um cherry on top still has some of those papers because they sell it really quickly and if they don't scrapbook.com always has it um, always has it and I can just go on scrapbook.com and just get the, the three order the three papers um but yeah I was gonna open these packets wasn't I so let me go do that and I will be right back so this is that stationery pack it actually comes with a burlap sack with the little floral on it this little piece that has this button that I think comes out, but I'm not going to even force it. <laughs> I'll do that later. And then a bunch of cards and like this is a vellum envelope. And some more like ephemera pieces. This is a little frame. Um, that Oh, it's a frame pocket. You can put a picture in there. This is another little pocket. Oh, this is a little matchbook. Oh, that's cute. So yeah, it's like, it's station. I don't know why they call it what they call it. Um, you can pull these apart, same with these. And then some writing spots. Oh, this is a um, treat bag. Let's put it in here. Yeah, treat bag. Another one. This one is an envelope. Oh, this is cool. So yeah, I don't know why they call this the stationery pack. Maybe because it has like different sort of pre-made uh, envelopes and tuck spots and stuff like that. But uh, another one, another one of those frames, and then a file folder. Very cute, very versatile. Um, bigger pieces, of course, because of the pockets and tuck spots and stuff. Love this little sack. Don't know what I'll use it for, but it's very cute. So that is the stationary, the stationary pack. Then this is the ephemera pack, and this is all gingham, gingham garden. Whoa! Again, these are really, really tiny pieces. Like, it's very, it's nice, it's refreshing that they're tiny little pieces. Very good for pocket pages. Uh, and some vellum pieces, look at. Um, very good for pocket pages and journals. You know, because we don't need those big, big pieces when we're working in pocket pages or our journals. So that's the first little um, one. And then I think these come apart. Yeah, they do. They come apart. Sweet, lovely, discover. These also come apart, more vellum pieces. A lot of the floral and the paisley stuff is vellum. Some bigger pieces. These come apart. Tag, magic, journey. So that is the Gingham Garden ephemera from the ephemera pack. And then let me go through the florals from the Maggie Holmes Woodland Grove pack. These florals are also super tiny. I remember the open book florals and I think Flourish also had floral pack and those florals were giant. They were ginormous, and these are really, really tiny, which is really nice. I like how some of them have the gold foil. Yeah. Usually the florals are like this big. Oh, look, some vellum, I mean, not vellum, some acetate pieces. Some clear acetate. Oh, loving the floor, the, the purple florals. Look how tiny, this is what I'm saying. If you know, you know.
more some more acetate and acetate butterfly some more of those gold pieces but yeah these pieces are really really cute especially for tiny little journals like I've been so I haven't been journaling like creative journaling or art journaling or even scrapbooking at all the most that I do is my Daphne's diary and that's like once in a blue moon um but I've been toying with keeping, with doing a journal, but like doing a passport size journal, which is like tiny, tiny. And I feel like those, um, those little pieces would be really, really good. To do that journaling, goodness, there's a lot. So these little pieces are the washi stickers and you get two of each. You get two of each. Oh my goodness, there's just a lot. There's way too much here. There's way too much. Um, but yeah, you get an assortment of these little ones and most of the time the little ones are washi. They feel like washi. So they're stickers, you just peel the backing off and you, you put them down. Oh my goodness, remember. I'm not doing this justice. I'm just going really quickly because there's so many. There's so many. And you get two of each. So like this would be really cool because I know this this little pack is expensive. Um, something really cool to buy and like uh, split with a friend. So okay, these are now paper. So the little, little ones are the stickers and these are now paper. And these are like really thin paper. You know, almost like, not quite tissue, but like really thin. And these are just an assortment of like pages. Look at that. I love, I love these. And some more of the other ones, tickets and tags and all sorts of things. I noticed that this one has way more four by six pieces than the parasol one did. But look how pretty. Oh my goodness, there's like little pieces. Oh, look, I lucked out. I got three of the same ones. <laughs> normally it's two. You normally get two of each, of each piece. So many really cute like journaling spots and I like this I like that it's thin like I don't mind that it's thin um, because it's good for layering it won't bulk up stuff too much that's so pretty so many good things so many good things I'm just gonna leave it all here on my desk and I will sort through them later but yeah I really hope you liked this very quick look was this quick it might be quick for me, but um, this very quick look at the Gingham Garden collection. Gingham Garden, and what else did I buy? The P13 stuff, which I didn't open to show you, but um, I like keeping these little envelopes that they come in because they're really pretty. So yeah, they're just little, just little tags. Very pretty. Um, this one too. Different sizes. Very cute. Love the colors. Um, this is my little, my little haul. I'm gonna clean this up later. But um, yeah, so I hope you really enjoyed this haul video and a little look at the new crepe paper, Maggie Holmes, and some P13 goodies. Hopefully I will come back with more of a creative video. I've just been in such a weird little funk. 
yeah, I'm just working through it. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.